Hey guys, so today we're gonna start a new series on this channel which is gonna be C Sharp Informs Application Development. So C Sharp is a modern programming language which is also considered the native language for developing applications for Windows. If you don't know the basics of C Sharp, I highly encourage you to go ahead to YouTube or somewhere and learn the basics and come back here because you're gonna need that basic knowledge of C Sharp in this video series. In this series, we will be creating graphical user interface based applications or GUI applications using the Windows Forms UI technology for the .NET framework. So first, we need to install Visual Studio, which is the IDE or the integrated development environment for developing C Sharp WinForms applications on Windows. And then we will install the C Sharp workload and then we can get started with creating Windows Forms applications using C Sharp for Windows. So let's go ahead and download Visual Studio. You can go to the link in the description or you can go to visualstudio.com. And from here you can download Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition which is the free version. And now you can run the installer and this will install the Visual Studio installer. Not Visual Studio but Visual Studio installer. So once we launch Visual Studio installer this is gonna look like this. You will have Visual Studio Community Edition right here and you can go ahead and click install. I have already installed Visual Studio Community Edition on my computer so I don't have that option right here. So I'll go ahead and go to modify for you it's gonna be just installed. And if I go to modify you will see all these workloads. These are gonna be the workloads that you need to install to start developing applications in different languages and different technologies. So you need to check .NET desktop development check this and install and you should be good to go so after installing the either by going to the start menu and searching for visual studio 2019 or you can just launch it from here using the visual studio installer okay so visual studio 2019 will look like this when you launch it and then you can go to create a new project and from here you need to change the language to c sharp and then you can search for informs and then you're gonna click Windows Forms app .NET framework, not the Windows Forms control library, Windows Forms app .NET framework. Now let's click create or next, and then we will give this a name. So WinForms one. All right, so you can place your project wherever you want by browsing from here. Okay, let's hit create and this will create the project for us. Okay, this is how it's gonna look like after we create the project. So we have a window here. Also, we have all those different tabs right here and some different tabs here. If you want to bring up any tab, you can go to Weave and select whichever you want. You want. So first, I will go through the Solution Explorer, which is the place where you can see all your project files and stuff like that. So here we have program.cs and form1.cs. So form1.cs is the graphical user interface for our Windows Forms application and program.cs is the main entry point for the application and now let's go to the toolbox which you can get by going to weave and then toolbox and from here I will search for a label and I will drag and drop it here see it's that easy you just need to go to the toolbox and drag whatever you need and drop it to the form and it will go there and I will go to the properties and here I will change the text of our label to something like hello world and I will increase our font size so that you guys can see it better. Alright, so now to start our application you can just click on start and this will launch our application. Okay, there you go. This is your first WinForms application using C Sharp. Congratulations if you did this correctly. It wasn't much but <laughs> it was something. So. In the course of the next few videos, we will develop this application into something functional. At the end of the video series, we will create a dashboard application for a company called XStudio, which is a fake studio. We will add text boxes, we will add buttons, we will add panels and all sorts of fun stuff. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.